New safety measures are now in place in Longmeadow, right at the site of a deadly train accident that happened two and a half years ago. The railroad crossing had been called one of the most dangerous in Massachusetts. Western Mass News reporter Lindsay Kane has more from the ribbon cutting on a project that many say is long overdue. So when they say accidents happen close to home, this is really close to home. In March of 2017, father and longtime DPW employee Warren Coles was tragically killed while plowing snow near the Bernie Road and Tina Lane Railroad crossing in a snowstorm, making him the fifth person killed at that spot. When he had his son, he lived and breathed for his, for his, his son, did everything possibly that a father could do and then some. So, you know, he's deeply missed. Warren's sister tells Western Mass News she had a plan to make sure no one suffered a loss the way she lost her brother. The site needed safety measures. I'm in charge now, so let's go. This is not going to take years and years and years. I want it done now. There have also been seven accidents at that site dating back to 1981. But officials are hoping this is the end. This will absolutely save lives. This is one of the most dangerous crossings in the entire state. It's important to point out five people have died here, and now hopefully that will never happen again because of this crossing. Massachusetts Department of Transportation funded 90% of the $700,000 project, with Amtrak covering the final 10%. The site is now equipped with a gate and warning bells that are activated when the train is near. Friday marked two years, eight months, and one day since Warren's accident. And Senator Eric Lesser says although it sounds like a long time, the project had issues since part of the crossing was owned by the state and the other part by the federal government. But they kept pushing. We had a community that just wouldn't quit uh, and kept it right at the front of everybody's mind. One of those people is Warren's sister who says she wouldn't take no for an answer. I was told that the politicians, they move slow. Oh, well, that's not going to happen this time. This is living proof. I didn't let it happen. They knew I meant business. I'm not going away until this is done. My brother was not going to be killed for nothing. Something good had to come out of the end of this. And she says something did. In Longmeadow, Lindsay Kane, Western Mass News.